Hey everyone, welcome to my playthrough of Control. Um, I have played this game before, but I don't remember too much of it, uh, if anything, really. Uh, little details here and there, but uh, for the majority of the story, I don't remember anything. So let's get the subtitles going. I think everything else looks good. We want a new game. Speakers. I'm using headphones, so we'll do headphones. Subtitles, yes. Let's get to it. Fair warning. This is going to be weirder than usual. Can't be. We like weird. You called me. So here I am. I know I shut you out sometimes. I'm always glad to hear from you. It's just that I get my hopes up. So many times it's led to nothing. I found nothing. It's like we live in a room and there's a poster on the wall. We stare at it and we think that's the whole world. The room and the poster. The picture is something nice. A landscape, a famous person. Like in that movie, what is it called? The prison movie. The room's a cell, and the picture, it's different for each of us. It can be beautiful or terrible, but we're all transfixed. But it's all a lie. Something to distract us from the truth. They're lying to us. We are lying to ourselves. The room's not the world. The world is much bigger and much stranger. There's a hole hidden behind that poster that leads to the real world. We all feel safe in that room. But sometimes, sometimes something crawls out from behind the poster. I think he's talking about Shawshank? Shawshank Redemption? see it happen. Freak out. And try to forget what they saw. I'm here. Why did you bring me here? Hello? Anyone here? All right. So I do remember the general premise. Um, I won't say anything. I'll just keep playing. FBC, Federal Bureau of Control. Okay, what do we got? Security check. Remove outerwear, empty pockets, and remove metals. Place contents into bins. When directed by security staff, proceed through metal detection. <gasps> we did not remove everything. Huh? Collectibles. Correspondence. What do we got? Prohibited items reminder. Certain objects are not allowed inside the Bureau. Recent incidents have necessitated an issued reminder on prohibited materials. Unauthorized weapons, pagers. We use this pagers anymore. Laptops, smart, smart watches, smartphones, smart gaming devices. Anything smart. Well, there goes more than half of the population. Number two pencils, not allowed. Any objects considered iconic representations of an archetypal concept. Example, rubber ducks and ketchup bottles. 
All materials under bureau investigation is to be brought in through the private entrances. If you see any lobby personnel in breach of these policies, please notify your super your supervisor immediately. God help you if you brought your number two pencil today. That's all I will say. Did, did that door just open on its own? Internal lockdown in effect. Building lockdown in effect. Multiple containment breaches detected. Multiple building shifts detected. Head of research override. HRA protocol activated. That is a weird box of cigarettes just standing. Those are huge. For a box of cigarettes? Black Pyramid. Since 1920. Just remember the Black Pyramid. We did see one in that um, flashback montage opening video. All right. Okay, so I am the one opening these doors. They just magically open. All right, what do we got here? Bureau expenditures, major staffing, surveillance, Redacted. Data center initiative. Construction. Redacted. Redacted. Minor. Office equipment. Janitorial costs. Redacted. Mold removal. That's minor. HQ livability costs. For cost breakdown spreadsheet, see page 5. For 5-year comparison chart, see page 9. <sighs> these, uh, these tube systems. Man, these are ancient. They're cool though. This seal. I saw it a long time ago. I keep seeing it in my dreams. I mean, I could swear we saw it downstairs not two minutes ago. Like right there. Alright. Who's that handsome fella? Head of research, Dr. Casper Darling. Now, this guy, I forget his name, but I believe he was the voice actor of Alan Wake uh, in the original game and the part two that just came out. I, I don't know if he reprised part two, but I know he was the original voice. Our Bureau at Work. It's a mighty fine looking guy. And director Zachariah Trench. This guy, James McCaffrey, I want to say, uh, he was the voice of Max Payne um, in the in the trilogy. He sadly passed away just under a week ago. But uh, fantastic voice actor. He's done a lot of good stuff. Guess I'm gonna go this way first. Oh, the washroom. Any secrets flush down the toilets? No. No mirrors in the bathroom. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Run, Jesse. Ooh. Good jump. All these years I've been looking for them and they were hiding in plain sight. She can she can jump. With very little effort. Alright, what do we got here? Office rules of conduct. Speak in moderate volume. No personal calls. New food or drink around bureau documents or in the copy room. No use of the photocopier for personal projects. What does that say? Or the 3D printer or the bureau stationery. It's kind of funny. Wear access badge at all times. No discussing confidential projects out loud. The one to finish the coffee pot makes a new one. That is a very sensible uh, rule of conduct. Remember to wash your hands. Your hands can spread the mold, which is low priority, apparently. Wash your hands carefully with soap. Make sure to watch all fingers, nails, palms, backs, wrists. Rinse thoroughly and dry carefully. Please recycle. Who are these people? Let's say hi and welcome to some new people in the oldest house. Lucas and Marie Timu? Alex, Ari... What did that say? Sen Semina? Senna? Jenna. I can't read. Jenna. Ted. Leonardo. And 
I cannot read that last name. Sebastian? Could be Sebastian. First Aiders. I'm not going to go through all those names. Although Corey Hasselback, that's a cool name. Ooh, Book Club. Uh, can't read it that well. Reminder to all staff. Food left in refrigerator and containment room break room 3B has been known to vanish. Plan accordingly. Acoustic guitar for sale. Turns out it's pretty hard. If interested, see Greg and Maintenance. 50, 50 bucks for a guitar? That's a really fucking good deal. Spinning out of control? Yes. Yes. All right. Let's let's stop dilly dallying around. How the fuck do I get in there? Yes, I don't. Wait, is there no door? Oh, there is a door. That is so inconvenient. If that is your office, you gotta what? Go all the way around just to get through your office. Fuck. Man, I love that, uh, those potato chips. Man, they make the best potato chips. Crackers? Oh, man, those crackers especially. Fibers! Oh, I love fibers, man. This is the most poorly lit hallway. Why is it always, like, these, these games and, like, these offices, they're so poorly lit? Like, wouldn't you, wouldn't you want your workspace to be properly lit? Anyways, security order. Oh, man. A shark in his, although secure, permission to following basic protocol, shoot to kill. There's a shark on the loose, apparently. I think. So, where is everyone? Hello! As you all should know by now, really great start to uh, document, the R4 reports are due by the end of the week. Yeah, we're also adding, uh, uh, what was it, like the, the, oh man, now I'm, I'm bungling it up. Um, the fax reports, the, 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 what was it, the TPS reports from Office Space? They're adding cover sheets, adding cover sheets. We're still waiting on them from a number of people. If you need an extension, please request form R -E -R -R e from your supervisor. If you think you're exempt from filing an R4, then you need to get written permission from your department chief saying so. Remember, R4s are mandatory under Section 75.2 of the Employee Manual. If your R4 requires interdepartmental claims, then please contact the appropriate department head, Dr. Darling, Ms. Marshall, Mr. Salvador, or Mr. Kirkland, as needed. They'll be busy on Thursday in your annual policy review, so please schedule accordingly. Best, your admin team. Do I? Is that a radio or is that a guy? Oh. Alright, before we talk to him... Let's poke around some more. Nope, nothing. Hey, excuse me. Hello. He's got an old school Walkman. Yo, it's a nice looking Walkman. So, is that Pony? Pony brand. I do love Pony. Panpunk, too. I love Panpunk. I love this guy. Shift loader jobs to know it makes us come off weird. 
Ati the janitor is a friendly face in my book. Better than somebody with no face at all. <laughs> Think about it. No face. But that said, I know what you're thinking. If there's an axe murderer around, <laughs> that's him. I, you're, you're not wrong. Hey, never underestimate the janitor in any office. They, they're the ones that mop up the dirty secrets of those places. Ding, you say? Wait. We just made like a whole circle, didn't we? We did make a whole circle, but it's... Yeah, see? It nears the washroom again. Interesting. And where Ati was, picture of him, well, his ass anyway, is the elevator. Interesting. All right. Let us keep going. The cell and the poster. I was 11 years old the first time I saw behind the poster. They told me I imagined it. I've been trying to pull it down ever since. Will you help? I'm certainly going to try. Courtney Hope. Is it no one else? So I'm actually really excited to get back into this game. Um, as I said, I have played it, uh, the original game. I never played the expansions. And I believe there was two, two or three. I believe it was two. Um, and I grew up with the Remedy games, like Max Payne 1 and 2, even 3. Oh, they were fantastic. Um, and Alan Wake was one of the reasons uh, I wanted to get an Xbox 360 initially. And I remember that game got delayed so much. Uh, I think by about two years, if I remember correctly. But I remember really enjoying the game. That's another game I'll have to get back to at some point. My mind. My baby brother, Dylan. 17 years since the men of this bureau took him. Yeah, so that's what... Uh, that's what I didn't want to mention earlier. I didn't know at one point we were going to know. But... Je that was the most fragile thing. Uh, Jessie's here looking for her brother. Actually, we're starting from the bottom. Unless we're on like the top floor, which I don't think we are. Yep, yeah, all that stuff. Okay, reminder, drafting any public-facing material while pending any notifications of death related to the Willow AWE, please adhere to the following guidelines, words or phrases to use, in the service of his or her country. Regret. Proud slash pride will be remembered. Words or phrases to avoid, Alaska, scissors, blood or bleed, loss, apologies, or sorry. Alaska scissors. What if you need to cut something? Alaska started bleeding, started getting blood loss from the scissor cut on her hand. Oh, sorry. Yeah, terrible. I'm sorry. No, nope, can't say that. Oh my god, physics. Nope. Parents level one. Yeah, and this guy's picture is everywhere, eh? Alright. 
I don't want to see. I'm 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 auditing, checking for number two pencils. So God help you if I find one. These are weird office spaces. You know what? In a building this big, and only one elevator, probably be a lineup uh, for people who want to go home. French, do not disturb. Barbara, I am not to be disturbed. Cancel all my appointments for the day. For the rest of the week. I can't trust them, Barbara. Not a single one. Trench. Investigate the noise in the director's office. Oh, there's a director's office? Well, I guess I am on the top floor. Wait, wait. Let's make sure. Office of the director, Zachariah Trench. Oh, right. Trench was, yeah. Well, if he's canceling all appointments, I mean, that's pretty much a sign that he's in trouble anyway. Hello? Shit. Housekeeping. Oh. Shit, shit, shit. Shit, 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 shit. The murder weapon? Really? Uh, sure, yeah. I, I, yeah. That's what I was going to say. You guys seen those... Is she talking in her head or look at those you see these like not particle effects but it's like like the rainbow effects going around i don't remember this part of the game hello Objects of power can cause or be results of AWE's altered world events, intrusions upon the perceived reality. Now, the service weapon is, of course, a prime example of an OOP, a very powerful one, ingrained in the Bureau's DNA, a key component in our prime candidate program. Come out of that Russian roulette a winner, and you, <laughs> you're it. Look at that gun. It's like shifting. Look at this place. Where am I? I do remember these. These are like tutorial areas. Yeah, that was the pyramid I was talking about. The black pyramid. The cigarettes. That's crazy, man. Look at that. Prison. Ooh, that was close. I'll have to sprint for this one. Yeah. Melee. Oh, jeez. Ooh, little particles. All right. Pistolero. Choose to be chosen. Yeah, I remember the the gun being so cool. Okay. Now I have a gun. Now you have a gun. Nice, nice, very nice. Generates ammo automatically. Cool. Wee. Ooh, can I? Oh, nice. Nice revolver. Woo. You. you can 
Head back. Back, I say. Ooh. Ah. Nope. No. Hmm. La la la. Anyone else? No? Alright. You we will do. noise and I understood every word and this gun's alive you know what I'm happy I'm happy to be here yes very it's happy down outside. is it safe to go probably not ooh there's blue oh oh there's blue all over Sorry. Ooh, certificate. I should probably... Uno momento. We make these. Ah, that's why. Let's do, let's do some high. Can we see? Can you see this stuff better now? Maybe? Oh, definitely not. Actually worse than before. Ultra. Um, I'm actually going to get rid of the motion blur, ray tracing, let's do medium ray tracing. Actually, let, let's do high, let's see, let's see how it goes with high. Oh yeah, much, oh no, no, we lost it again guys. We had it, and we lost it. Oh wow, frame rate dropped like crazy. Uh, I'm going to bring the ray tracing down. Sorry, guys. I don't have the most high-end computer. We'll do medium for now. See how that goes. That's a real shame. I guess there's nothing else in here. Holy shit! Is that me? Huh. Like, this stuff I legitimately don't remember. But that is me. Interesting. She doesn't even comment on it. Nice shirt. Uh, I forgot something in here. I think they're still out there. All right, let's do it. Ooh. 
А! Really? All right, what is it? Hiss guard? I remember, okay, so the bad guy's name was a Hiss. I do remember that. The Bureau has many internal security personnel. The Hiss was quick to take advantage of this fact. Hiss guards are the standard issue bullpup rifles they carried prior to corruption, while the armored guards carry pump action shotguns. Oh, yummy. They have no observed paran paranatural abilities, with the exception that his that certain hiss guards are protected by shielding of dense hiss resonance, capable of stopping bullets. Is this shielding a result of prolonged hiss corruption? Does the hiss mature in organic hosts over time? More data is needed. Did the hiss target individuals with combat training? Does the hiss have that level of cognizance? Does it utilize hosts for tasks they are best suited to? Combat trained hosts are reserved for combat. These are all questions for later, though it is obvious that uh, corrupted individuals retain knowledge on the use of their weapons. Refer to file redacted for full report. Uh, and we have a photo of uh, the late Director Trench. So much is expected from the director. The responsibility. The privilege. Yeah. Ooh. Service weapon. Oh, nice. Containment procedure. <laughs> the service weapon. Oop, oopie key. Oopie key. Uh, <laughs> the subject's form is variable. When bound, the object allows peri-utilitarians to redact it. This object must only be bound by individuals seeking the role of redacted. This object will determine whether <laughs> if rejected, the applicant is terminated. The process uh, is dictated by the, <laughs> the through their uh, though their criteria is unknown. The object was discovered inside the oldest house in the room that is now used as the director's office. The popular hypothesis of many forms throughout history Mjolnir, Excalibur, Varunastra, all weapons that are of their wielders. If objects of power are, are the convergence of forces based on the collective subconscious, then this may be the original manifestation of that event. If this is the case... See Dr. Darling's presentation, 11.1 uh, for more details. Should do that. Multimedia. Ooh. Objects of power can cause or be results of AWE's altered world events, intrusions upon the perceived reality. A side note: remember to cover their connection to the astral plane as well. Now, the service weapon is, of course, a prime example of an OOP, a very Powerful one. Not a cube. Ingrained in the Bureau's DNA, a key component in our prime candidate program. Come out of that Russian roulette a winner and you, <laughs> you're it. Lose and you're well fine. Thank you. I'm Dr. Darling, head of research, Federal Bureau of Control. But for the God's sake, man, put the cube down. Boom, boom. Okay, back to the action. Oh man, probably not a good idea to walk through all that. Hey, oh, what did I just pick up? Oh, my health. Can I go there yet? Nope. That was. There wasn't it. This this place it's 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 messing with me. This area wasn't here before. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Is it? His name is Trench. Or was Trench. How am I not doing damage? It's clearly hitting them. Ooh. 
Is there no cover system? Oh, ugh. Sorry. Ooh. Uh, excuse me, guys. I gotta. I gotta catch up on the minutes. Agenda items for next executive meeting. Rising costs of AWE response. Update on mold eradication efforts. Upcoming annual salary review. New supplier of coffee filters to be found and vetted. Please come prepared. Thank you for your time. Everyone must have... See another picture of me. So are like the pictures of director... The former director Trench being like... Oh. Oh that's so cool. Um, are the pictures of Trench being, like, replaced? Like, automatically? That was actually cool. I got to see the guy's reflection. No, my picture's gone. Oh, you can hear them. Yeah, so... Yeah, my pictures are everywhere now. Man, this place moves quick. Reminder. Reminder. If you experience an unanticipated building shift, follow these simple steps. One, search the room for any altered items or objects of power. Two, carry the altered item or object of power to the nearest safe room. Three, wait for bureau staff to find you and the object. If there are no altered items or objects of power in the vicinity, then reach your supervisor via the nearest intercom and await further instructions. Thank you for your attention. No problem. If you experience an unanticipated building shift, follow these simple steps. One, Why can I still not see the... Anyways, whatever. Central Executive. Oh, that's cool. What am I opening? I think I glitched the game. For Marshall's eyes only. Marshall, we checked out the, su the suspected AWE in Duluth. Wasn't anything. Just like the house fire before this. And the malfunction in close dryer before that. My team's getting pretty sick of duds. We need to find a better way to sort the fake AWEs from the real things. Or you need to rotate these field agents off for a bit. Anyway, we're en route to the Sherman Ranch. Next one on the list. Let's hope it's a little livelier there. Sincerely, Special Agent Keenum. Oh. I didn't even realize that. Can I shoot, Can I shoot him down? Oh. Uh, you, and he had two days to retirement, too. Shit. Oh. House memory. What is this clearance level? I don't have clearance level to read these things? What is this? Material. Load up. Personal mods. Health recovery per element pickup. Oh! Okay, sure. Why not? And I'm sure that'll just close the door on me. Uh... Alright. A lot of documents around, jeez. 
Reminder, drafting any public-facing material while pending any notifications of death related to the Willow AWE, please adhere to the following guidelines. Oh, we've seen this one already. Dinner reservations. Dinner reservations at 7 p.m. at Shea Amber. Or um, Ambre? Wife will meet you there. Don't be late. Flowers are ready for you at lobby reception. Remember, she's turning... <laughs> She's turning 46. If you can't even remember how old your wife is, assuming that's your wife, could be your sister for all I know, could be your fucking mother, I don't know. Mother turning 40, yeah, that'd be weird. Uh, yeah. People floating. I mean, I could do a Pennywise joke. About floating, but nah, it's beneath me. They float. They all float. Okay, so I thought she was talking to herself, but I think she's talking to someone else. Well, I mean, she's clearly talking to herself, but you know what I mean. Copyright music. Can't play it. Sorry. That is some wallet looking shit. Okay. So. So. What else we got? More documents to read. Yay. Urban legends. This should be good. Urban legends are believed to be the effect of the creation of altered materials, but can also dictate the characteristics of an altered world event. Urban legends are understood as the modern evolution of Jung's archetypes. We recognize certain blank, informed by our own blank, and popularized by our media. We have additionally proven that urban legends can even be artificially blank in popular culture using blank, our own, our bureau made anthology television program. Our bureau made anthology television program. I mean, Remedy does have this tendency to have, um, make these like shorts and play them on TVs like all across their games if, if for those who are not familiar. Like Max Payne had like Captain Baseball Bat Boy. It was like these little shorts. Um Alan Wake had um I think it was called Bright Falls. It was kind of like a um a Twilight Zone kind of show. It, it would only last like a few minutes, but it was interesting. I, I don't even remember what the one in this one in this game was. Anthology television program. Anyways, once the seeds are sown, human imagination exacerbates the details. Certain paranatural phenomena contain clear elements of popularized folklore. AWE set only occur on blank. A pair of scissors, we can't use that word. A pair of mm, that consume human mm, through two punctures on the mm, fill in your own words there. These details, living in the minds of so many, have been given strength through belief. Urban legends are not just stories for children, they are paranatural realities waiting to happen. Refer to for, uh, file 4-93-6942 for full report. Very interesting. Oh look, another document. Visitor evaluations. How to handle unscheduled visitors entering the lobby. Just one word. Security! Start with the following. Welcome to the Federal Bureau... Oh, I, gotta, I gotta have the... Welcome to the Federal Bureau of Control, established in 1964 as part of an effort to strengthen government relations. We are proud to serve the United States and her people as we strive for transparency and excellence in all aspects of our esteemed nation's infrastructure. If they don't leave by your fucking boring speech, 
then ask them these questions. Are you here to see someone? Are you from New York City or just visiting? How'd you find this place? If their answers are sufficiently harmless, <laughs> sufficiently harmless, explain that this is a secure federal office and that they'll need to leave. If their answers seem, mm -hmm, escort them to a private room. There, perform the necessary uh, arm up the ass, uh, gunner's psychological assessment. If their responses are within the acceptable, <laughs> acceptable range of deviance, see the provided scoring sheet. Then, blank immediately. Remember, there's no such thing as too suspicious. Anyone too sus? Get the fuck out of there. But sodomize them first. Like that's that's priority. You got you got to make sure the sodomy, sodomy actually occurs. What the fuck? Okay, I wasn't gonna address this until later. Um, it mentioned earlier like the building shifting. I I remember that much. Like the building actually is alive, um, and shifts on the inside. But like, what the fuck? I don't remember this. But the, the pyramids here, are they good guys or bad guys? Alright, well, guess I'm dropping down. Oh, hi. There really should be some kind of cover functionality. Oh, hello. Oh. Oh, you're new. Oh, jeez. No, run away, run away. I need health badly. We got this. We got this. Yeah, baby. Yeah. Yeah. We gathered. Spreading to cease. What does that mean? I don't know. Yeah, look at that. That's a thing we keep seeing. Ooh. Yeah, see, that's cool. That's some, like, Doctor Strange shit. But, you know, before Doctor Strange. I, I think this game came up before Doctor Strange. Shit. You did it. We did it. Speak with the voice in the safe room. Hi. Can I can. Pope? Are you with us? Spiritu Sante. Are you still sane? Are you? Motherfucker, you guys are the one attacking me. Are you here? Where are you? Please talk to me. We saw uh, you deal with the compromised agents. Your elegance, please. I'm here to save you. I am to talk to somebody sane. The feelings mutual. Yeah, I'm Pope, Emily Pope, and Dr. Darling's assistant. My turn. Should I lie? Jesse Faden. I'm just visiting. I should have lied. Oh shit! You're that wasn't a lie. Hold on, we're coming out. <laughs> yeah, see, everyone already knows she's the new director. What the fuck are you wearing, lady? Faden. Call me Jesse. Okay, Jesse. I'm Emily. Yeah, we got the that. Hiss? hiss that works jinx somehow the hiss managed to infiltrate the building without any warning and just like that my name for it is official the hiss like the sound of poison gas leaking in we're in full lockdown it seems to have spread everywhere and to every what is going on with your hair and extraordinarily you you are the director and the that makes you special by definition. Trench is no longer the director, obviously. 
Uh, I'm sorry, I'm talking too much. This whole situation is just a lot. Trench is dead. Shot. Yeah. Ah, uh, I found his body. And the gun. Do I tell her it looked like a suicide? The service weapon. Also, and this can sound crazy, but he keeps appearing to me, saying things. It's hard to make out, but he told me to cleanse the control point, push the hiss out. The whole room shifted around. You and did that? And you entered the building when it was already in the lockdown before you became the new director? How? I'm not ready to tell her about you yet. A janitor let me in. <laughs> I love it. I, this is fucking unbelievable. It's... I can't even... Hey, don't question the director. Jesse, I have a million questions, and you probably have a million more. Like, do you know my brother Dylan? Not yet. Why not? There's something I need to ask you to do first. If you can cleanse a control point, then you can maybe cure those infected or possessed by the hiss. Because the hiss. if that's possible, our options are very different. Emily Pope. I don't know her, but I like her already. She's the opposite of the faceless agency I've blamed for what happened to me for so long. But I can't trust her yet. Or rather, the bureau she's a part of. Yes. I can try. I'm speaking for you, of course. We can try it together. But she, Emily doesn't need to know that. Okay. You with me? We did it before. Push the hiss out. So, they know that Jesse has replaced Trench as a new director, but they don't know that he's dead? Okay, I'm confused on that point. Okay, I'm gonna reload, because I don't know what the hell's going on here. With, uh... With all this writing. Continue game. No. Very weird. Hey guys, so, um... I did a little bit of tweaking, and apparently it's a known issue uh, about the texture pops and the pop-ins. Uh, a lot of uh, a lot of people were complaining that they couldn't see anything with clarity, um, and there was no real workaround. Uh, even to this day, it hasn't been patched. Um, I just basically reloaded the game. I was playing on uh, uh, DirectX uh, 12. I just loaded up DirectX 11. And it seems to be working better. Um, I did read that the frame rate won't be as great. Um, but at least you can see everything better now. Like, everything looks better. Well, this chick's hair is still pretty bad. But, I mean, you can actually read the fucking letters now. Um, yeah, so I guess going forward we're just going to use DirectX 11, fortunately. Okay. So, let's see what's in here. Yeah, you can actually, excuse me, you can actually see like the pop in uh, the emergency supply storage, the, the lettering. Uh, when I first came in, it was like still kind of blurry, but it took a minute for it to load. Control points. Control points are locations that the Bureau has identified as being vital junctions of the oldest house. When the appropriate harmonization devices are arranged around the control point in the blank arrangement, the surrounding area will not experience any unforeseen building shifts. The surrounding area will not experience any unforeseen building shifts. Okay. These control points are discovered by blank detection of an unobstructed ping using the blank within a 37-foot radius. Numerous researchers have attempted to define control points, calling them nerve junctures or blank or vulnerable spots of the oldest house. The common factor in these series is that control points are susceptible to external influence, 
which allows us to stabilize the oldest house and work more confidently inside. Theoretically, this technology could be extrapolated to stabilize the oldest house as a whole, but testing has found that certain parts of the building refuse to be blank. Refer to file 7-25-2788 for full report. All righty. So where are we going to cleanse the his corrupted agent? Uh, where? Ooh, fast travel and outfits. We got civilian outfits. Ooh, does that mean we get like a director outfit later on or something? That'd be cool. Is he just seeing like a suit and tie? Ooh, nice boardroom. Oh, there's a map. That's cool. It's a real-time map, too. Oh. Are these all the previous directors? Oh my god, it goes all the way up. Uh, I'm guessing that's Trench. I can't see very well. Yeah, I guess our picture's not up there yet. Nice looking boardroom. Very nice, very nice. Okay, so where am I going? Uh, executive, central executive. So, oh, I guess executive is a floor. Yeah, sector executive and central executive is where we are. So, is it, oh. Hello. Clear your mind. Oh, she dead. She, she, oh yeah, she dead. She has become one with the false. Uh, no, can't see anything. Assets, what assets have I got that? No, I told you. So, okay. All right. So, if you try to drive the hiss out of their minds, they become one with force. Got it. I can't cleanse them. I saw. You murdered them. Thank you, Director Jesse. I'm gonna tell her why I'm here. Do it. I'll risk it. Okay. Listen. The Bureau was involved in an incident in my hometown, Ordinary, 17 years ago. The Bureau came in and covered Ordinary. everything. Ordinary. I've been looking for this place for a long time. That's enough. Maybe that's too much already. Maybe. I can't tell her about Dylan and the rest yet. I've seen mentions of an altered world event case dealing with ordinary. You were at Ground Zero as a child? It was one of the big ones, and before my time. And very classified. I can try to dig out some old files for you. My boss, Casper Darling, would know, but he's missing. Convenient. I think he knew this was coming, or suspected came up with the HRAs, the Hedron Resonance Amplifiers. I think they're what saved us, but a few of us. And Director Trench would know. Trench, the ghost or whatever he is. He mentioned something called the hotline. Said I should find it. It's another object of power, like the gun, an old Bakelite telephone, a direct line of communication between the director and the board. Talk to you more clearly through that. I mean, Trench has years and years of experience. He might know how to destroy the hiss. Where is the hotline? It's kept in the communications department through the mail room. It's part of this sector, so we can access it even with the lockdown in place. We'll get the door open for you. Okay, that's my next stop. That's Tomasi's department. He's the head of communications. 
I don't think he had an HRA. He kind of made a point about not wearing one earlier. Keep an eye out. So is it an HRA what you guys are wearing? Those big fucking they call me the director. chest things? That's not me. I'm not a director type. I'm not a leader. Why am I here? I mean, I think you, you already know. Yeah. You're not telling us what. Well, you did tell us, but. My brother, but yeah, there you go. There are other reasons, too. I said I was looking for answers, but I might never understand them. I'm not looking for proof. This is already it. More than enough. No matter what they told me all those years, I know it's real now. I didn't imagine this. I want to be a part of this world. Part of your world. This is that I finally found it. Only to see the hiss destroy it all. Oh, is that the phone ringing? Yeah, it is. That is an old ass looking chair, man. It's from like the 70s or something. That looks comfy as fuck. Um, telephone, mum. So don't hesitate to ask me anything you want to know. There are no stupid questions. The door to the comms department is just outside the boardroom back in the lobby. They should have gotten it open by now. Follow the signs to the mail room. You can get to the hotline containment chamber through there. Good luck, Jesse. See you back here once you have the hotline. I, I have a question. What, why can't we use number two pencils in the building? Should it though? Oh my god, this is a lot. <sighs> Alright, folks, let's get to it. Where did the hiss come from? I'm not sure. You said the hiss was here when you entered. Did you see anything like that outside before you came in? No. No, just inside. The source is internal then. See, the oldest house is a sprawling complex with openings to other places as well i don't even know where to start looking but in the context it's good news the lockdown holds the hiss escaping the building would be the end pretty shitty world out there if you ask me but i wouldn't want the hiss to destroy it I'm with you on that emily so the building was already on lockdown when we entered because we just walked in like i know the janitor gave us access but that's not a building in lockdown. You mentioned the oldest house. What is it? This building, the bureau headquarters, the oldest house, is a shifting place. You've seen it. It transcends its physical limits. I've been to New York a few times. How didn't I notice this place? Not meant to. Attribute of the building. This is a place of power. The oldest house doesn't like attention. So unless you're purposely trying to find it, you don't. Which is perfect for us. The work we do here is essential, but unstable. The Bureau prefers not to be noticed. And we need strong walls to make sure nothing gets out. So without you, I never would have found the front door. Okay. The, the oldest house kind of reminds me of a, of a story, um, a book called... Um, house of leaves where um a door just basically appears in the house one day that so the inner the inner dimensions of the house don't match the outer dimensions it's bigger on the inside than it is on the outside um the guy measures it and a door just appears one day um and they open it it's basically like a long hallway it's it's called the nine and a half minute hallway it's it's a crazy book if you haven't read house of leaves you really should it's 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 a wild book. This trench guy. I keep hearing him in my head. Is he a ghost? Haunting me? I doubt we're talking about a ghost in the traditional sense. But an echo, maybe. See, if he was killed by the service weapon, your gun, maybe it's his final thought recorded by the bullet in his brain, like a, a deep space probe sending back data. That's just a hypothesis on my part. That's a pretty poor hypothesis. You better hold on to that, given the 
circumstances. Yeah, hold on to the murder weapon. Yeah, that's yeah. 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 Good idea. Because you know, no, no way it'll do the same thing to you. No. Just, yeah. Keep 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 uh, good track of it of the of the weapon. Can you tell me what an object of power is exactly? This is all. Well, meaningless. <laughs> Don't worry. I love going over the basics. So objects of power are mundane objects that house paranatural energies and have developed a link to the astral plane and can thus be controlled, which is what differentiates them from altered items, which are still housings of paranatural forces, but are more volatile and cannot be bound in the peri-utilitarian sense. Got it? Yep. Did she memorize this? No. I didn't no. get it. No. Thanks. So HRA stop you from becoming Hicks. It seems that way. I mean, I hadn't even heard of an HRA until a few weeks ago when Dr. Darling started handing them out. Well, I began analyzing mine as soon as I got it. And each one seems to emit a powerful short-range frequency way beyond anything I've ever seen. Doesn't the timing seem suspicious? I was about to say. I thought that too. Dr. Darling usually likes to unveil his latest breakthrough in big presentations. With these, he passed them out. Yeah, his behavior makes me wonder what exactly he knew. Hey guys, I just opened a portal of some dimension where, uh, you know, evil spirits, you know, just fucking, um, you know, inhabit the bodies of people. Just, 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 just wear this. It'll protect you. Close it? No, what are you talking about? We can't close that portal. Who knows what's in those in that world? Just let me know. All right, we'll do. Come on, let's get some action here. Let's do something. Oh, gee, I wonder where I'm supposed to go. I'm a coming. Yeah. Open map. Map is open. There it is again. A welcome message. Health boost, another one. Ooh, I've how do I have three? Um right. Oh, we can only pick equip one right now. Uh so twenty percent, nineteen percent, energy plus six. What does energy do? Guess I'll just keep this one. This this effect is pulled directly from um oh what was that John Carpenter movie? Uh the one where like the 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 devil's like trying to come through they, they people get this like um mental recording uh, from the future basically saying like um this is a message from the year 1999 or whatever. This this is the same effect. Prince of Darkness, that was, that was the movie. Oh, that's creep. Oh, with their necks bent like that? That's fucked up. Oh, sorry. You didn't see nothing. You didn't see nothing. Is there really no cover system? Not even a dodge. Boom. Travel costs. Oh, this ought to be good. Visited the following Nevada accommodations. Desert Sun Inn, Big Sky Motel, Starlight Motel, in and, in and Out, Aztec Court, Sleepy Bear Motel, Silver Spurs Ranch, El Gato Blanco Inn, and the A-Plus Lodge. El Gato Blanco. Accommodation, $831.29. Meals seven hundred fourteen dollars and eighty four cents. The gasoline two hundred ninety five twelve. Mini bar. The poison research said performing rituals may help identify any place of power. Drinking those little whiskeys by ritual. Convenient. I do wonder if a motel called the Ocean View is going to be uh, found in a landlocked state. 
But hey, I guess I'm not paid to think, right? And for the record, I again request that you give us the budget to get two separate rooms each night. Agent Riley and myself are very tired of sleeping in the same room. See you on the road, Agent L. Hines. Heinz. The only person you should fail is yourself. Why do we have multiple pictures of of the director? The former director? Why, I ask you. Avoid modern technology. Synchronicity Research Department. Yeah, see? It just cleared up. Hello. Yeah, look at that. Fuck you. All right. What can I say? I don't like myself very much. Uh, okay. Why am I... Why do you keep telling me to... Log on the map? Are they all down there? Yo, that shade of red is crazy, man. Whoa. Hello? Where, where? From where? But from where? Oh, hello. Yeah, that's fucked up. Oh. Ah! Ah! Run! I really need... I really need a cover system. Really nice. I just realized they have numbers over their heads. Oh, shit. Oof, hiss barrier. The hiss resonance field is a physical impediment that is difficult to define. Hiss barriers appear as ways to impede ex escape. escape or access by bureau personnel. Two methods have been discovered for lowering them. One, destroy the multiple concentrated resonance sources found in the vicinity. Two, destroy the hiss entities in the area. The resonance fields seem to require support for their size and density from other non-connected sources of his resonance. Without the ability to draw from these sources, the barrier will fall. Does an inactive structure made of his resonance qualify as a conscious being? Does the distinction make any difference when wondering, con when considering the hiss? What does the very act of building walls to prevent our movement tell us about the hiss? To what degree is it watching and planning? I don't know. I don't care. Uh, hello? Hello? Ooh. Maybe? Yes. 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 Alright. Unstable area noise. Please be aware! Due to recent fluctuations in the nearest control point, this area stability has been downgraded to yellow. Reference chart. Green is stable. Yellow, low possibility of unanticipated building shifts. Orange, high likelihood of unanticipated building shifts red frequent unanticipated building shifts black what the fuck are you still doing here <laughs> white you dead son this is actually kind of creepy like the the hiss ramblings boom boom baby Have I gone the right way? No, I have not. Yeah. Uh, communications, dead letters, central executive. Where am I going? I'm going to communications, but it's blocked. I'm guessing I have to go this way. Oh, that looks. This looks great. I love the. The title splash like that. Machine God. I had a dream, and I built the thing I saw in my dream. 
A machine that will contain God, but not the God you know or the ones anyone knows. A new God. This machine will be his body, his heart, and his mind. I made it just like the dream showed me. I use the motor from the refrigerator and the coils from my toaster, and the fans plus the timing belt from my car's engine, and the wheels from my son's skateboard. God can't move yet, but the dream said he would learn on how on his own. This is just a beginner's body. Like a baby's, but a machine instead. God only needs a place to start. If you want to interview me, please contact me at the address on the envelope. My phone does not work anymore. I have to use the dialing plate on God. <laughs> I love that sentence. I had to use the dialing plate on God. <laughs> That's... I, I love it. I just love it. This this game is so fucking dark, man. Let me turn up the brightness a little bit. Uh, we're already at 50. Let's do 57. I mean, a little better. Am I sp not supposed to be able to go up there, I guess? Uh, but now everything looks purple. Alright, fine. Keep it as is. Alright. That is creepy, man. Oh, they... Ooh, I called it. I called it. I don't know why I was shooting that. Recharging. Come on, where you is? Where you is? Oh, there you is. Headshot, baby. Let's work hard. His life is in your hands. Everyone's safety depends on you. Is that a, that's a small shotgun? Give me... I don't know what these are for. Alright, alright. What else you got? Oh, well, that, 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 that. I cannot see shit. Ammo refund. Singing, what the fuck was that? Wait, singing fish, what too much is going on? What is this? About singing fish? Mr. G G Governor? Okay. I called the police, but they never came to my house. I got a problem, and you got to send folk to fix it. I got my... Alright, I, I feel like this is one of the... I got my wife one of them singing fish on the walls. It's not a real fish. <laughs> you just have to qualify. It, it's, not, it's not a real fish, mind you. It sings when you hit the button, but it's got the devil in it. Flies around at night and sings devil songs. Says lots of cuss words. The devil got inside my house because of the fish. And you got to come handle it. My wife is real upset. When can you come? Sincerely, Dwayne Barr. So, Mr. Governor, that was just the misspelling. It's not the actual guy's name. That's hilarious. It upset my wife some, it did. Oh, I still can't go through it? Oh, come on. Come on. There we go. He's got to do some property damage to get in that way. They can wait. They can wait. Dead letter approval. Greetings, Director Trench. Why is everything like a whole page long? I'd like to thank you for approving my request for the Dead Letters Archive. Cataloging the Breer's collection of delinquent mail will provide an extremely handy database that research teams can use to search for any connections or related topics found among the letters. Aside from the more functional purposes, the archive will allow us to preserve these windows into authentic human encounters with the paranatural world. 
The letters came to us from various places and times, gathered by the Postal Service as undeliverable. The Bureau is the perfect home for them. I realize not all letters contain accounts of genuine paranatural events, but even the erroneous ones allow us insight into how the unknown is perceived by real people. Of course, I will first compile a system to allow us to analyze the letters for any information or suspected connections to AWEs and other altered materials. So thank you again. Can't wait to delve into my dead letters. P. Bartwell. Well, oh, what the? They got grenades. It's packing. They're packing. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. They have shields. That's not fair. I mean, luckily the AI is not the greatest, so. Can I switch? No, I can't. No! Ha ha ha. Sucker. Oh. I seriously cannot see shit. Is there really no, like, no flashlight or something or anything like that? Maybe you unlock it afterwards or something. Alright. Let's keep moving. Let's keep moving. Oh, I'm guessing that's where a door is. Where is this machine god I heard so much about? Through the commands department. What is this? God damn. By our friends at the CIA, the disc held the launch codes to Soviet nukes. Go figure. Uh, this is not the disc, of course, but one exactly like it. A perfect fusion of concepts vibrating in the Cold War era collective unconscious. A receptacle. It is a receptacle for dangerous energies to hone in on. And they did. We don't have the details, but when things started flying around the disc, it was transferred to us. It's an object of power. Oh, okay. Oops. Oh, and it can launch things telekinetically through the air. Oops. Uh, to date, we, we've launched... What you, three dozen pencils. <gasps> Were they number two? And once... We even launched a cup. Fuck me. Not a cup. The science has gone too far, guys. Gone way too far. Pencils, cups, what's next? Binders, paper clips, staplers. Uh, do I gotta keep track of these clearance level stuff? I don't even have access to the main one yet. I'm the director, shouldn't I have like priority access to everything? Uh, I think that bottom area was closed to me before. Yeah, here, here, here. Yes, yes. I'm rewarded with more documents. Dead presidents. Oh, I can't go up. There, here we go. To whom it may concern, I'm being contacted by the past presidents of the United States of America. And I'm British. 
They appear as spirit guides, giving me their wisdom. John Adams keeps saying I need to fix America. But I can't really understand him. They all have a lot of opinions. People tell me I'm imagining it, but Theodore Roosevelt showed me how to fix my lawnmower. And I don't know a thing about lawnmowers. Explain that! I have great dead men telling me about the past and the present. If you'd like me to use my abilities to help run the government, please let me know. I know the White House could use me. Yours in earnest, James Mark Bartholomew. I don't know why I chose British. Floppy disk. So this one we actually see better. But yeah, you don't need to see it again. 80 kilobytes, guys. Fuck me, man. Whew, technology. It's crazy. Book club. All right. Hello, avid readers. Bureau Book Bunch will convene at the usual spot at the corner table at the cafeteria at 5 p.m. on Tuesday. Currently discussing Unless You by J.D. Brooks. Everyone should, be get, should get their reviews to me by Monday before lunch so I can generate some conversation starters before the meeting. Happy reading, Penny Bartwell. I don't know why I made her like that. Some television. That's kind of funny. Hey, Meg. What's, wrong? <laughs> What's wrong, Meg? That's fucked. That it does. That they do. That's so sweet. Stop looking at me. All right. The fuck was that? So I guess that's this game's version of um, those anthology shows. Physics! You gotta love it. Can, can, can I? Yeah! I break the bottles though. Apparently not. Apparently not. Alright, so where am I going? Mailroom? So I go. I look like there's a way around. Up there. Yeah, through here. Communications department. Who this? Welcome to the comms department. That is a goofy looking face. Like not the face itself, but like the smile. Like... Weird. <gasps> no pups! Don't bring dogs into the office. Some of us have allergies. Well, fuck you and your allergies. It's not the pup's fault you have allergies. That's your problem, not theirs. Uh, where am I going? Up or down? <gasps> We're being watched, guys. We're being watched. We're not being watched anymore, guys. 
Don't don't look at me like that. That's not very nice. That's right. Stop it. Can you please stop? I I warned her, guys. I, you heard me. I warned her. So, wait, hang on. If I get rid of all the people in the area, like the floating guys, does that mean that the things stop? Like the, the chanting? They do. That is interesting. Can I steal some candy? No, apparently not. These are cigarettes. Smoky Western Blend. We also got Jack's Choice. Smokes smokes and Mirrors. That's a cool name for cigarettes. Uh, dude, bro, <laughs> dude Bro Cigarettes. You got any dude bros? Bro. I got some dude bros, bro. Sh Schwartz end? Alright. I can't read that. What is that? Holy smoking? Holy smoking. And just smokes you. Or just smokes you. Just smokes you. Actually, there's a photo mode here, isn't there? I, yeah. We can see these better. Kind of. Apparently not. Maybe. There we go. Yeah. Holy smokes. It just smokes, yo. I want to see what that says. At the bottom, like beneath it. Uh, just smokes. No bullshit. Focus distance. Yeah, I don't think it does anything. Aperture. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, yeah. Commandant. Sh shows shorts hand. Commandant king size. Yeah, dude, bro. I can't read what this one says at the bottom. Under holy smokes. Yeah. Uh, can I? Oh, I can. But so Jack's choice, the perfect tobacco. I can't read what that says. Oh, Riverport tobacco, smoky western blend. Miners are forbidden by law. We support this law. Parents are urged to help prevent the management. Uh, back. Cool. It's great. It's a great photo. Uh, did we go in here? Yes, we did. Let's keep going. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, dude. I know that killed you. But, I'm sorry. What the fuck is this? Alright, 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 alright. What the fuck did you just call me? Bitch. Oh shit. Uh, okay. How do I... How do I get there? Whoa, wait, 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 whoa, wait, wait! Yeah, I, I could tell it's over there. So I guess I need to go across. Ah, Shiza! Go, go, go!
Then you gotta go across there, I guess. Woo! Okay, but then what do I do? Do I shoot it? And we need to cleanse it. Oh, it's the disc! <clears throat> Nuke. Gain launch telekinesis. Teach us to believe, Director. It's harder to hear you when I'm here. It's like the channel's been changed. The board's in charge here. Their pyramids in the bureau seal. Are they really the ones pulling the strings? I'm not their director. I'm no one's director. So I really like the um, the fact that there's like not not the double speak, but like the double meaning for like each word. Like the floppy disk slash nuke, um, launch slash telekinesis. It's like it's rough translations. There's no real direct translation for like the words they're using. That's really cool. I, I do like that. Uh, okay, grab hold. Yeah, buddy. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, there's a bar. Ooh, excuse me. Oh, wow. One lift just takes up half our energy. That is very good to know. The cube thingamajig into the hole slot to advance score. Score! Hiya! Hiya! Woo! Probably just done that too. I am Ren. Wee. Wee. Wow. Good job, Surge. Waste all those bullets, why don't you? Alright, where are you, bro? So you go there, bro. Goodbye, bro. Dude, bro. Oh, that was cool. Ooh. Yeah, oh, that must have hurt. It's a lot of fun. Secret base. You must stop slash mute them. See, like, that's what I mean. Like, the double, there's no direct translation. It's so cool. I really enjoy that. Really like that. Oh shit. You wanted, right? This will help me find the boss. Oh, she broke off a piece of the ground. That is so cool. Oh shit. I wonder if I can actually grab the rocket. bro where you is bro oh he blew oh shit I did not see that guy well that was our first death that is a cool effect Um, wait, where the fuck am I? Oh, wow. 
So I didn't do any of Wait, did I what the fuck? Oh, I did do it. Okay. Because I have the thing. So, okay, where am I going? Yeah, I think this is the right way. All right, I will go through here now. Out of my way. Emily said that the hotline can be reached through the mail room. All right, looking for for some uh, something to read. Yeah, you reading here? I like reading, especially top secret documents with half the page redacted. Nope, nothing there. How about in here? Anything like that here? Oh, maybe. Yep. Tomasi. National news sites have begun publishing the story of the polar bear attack on the Alaskan town. You all know I don't like to boast, but claiming that the family was killed by migrating polar bears desperate for food because their ecosystem is being ruined by global warming was a stroke of genius. Brillant. Using current ecological concerns makes the public much less likely to... blank. So, another AW behind us, and the public is none the wiser. Well done, everyone. It was a strong campaign and perfectly executed. This doesn't mean we could stop monitoring blank blank and blank for any off-message opinions, but it's looking like we're in the clear. Tomasi, out. Multimedia. Oh, the Threshold Kids. Yeah, no. None of that, please. Oh, the floppy disk. Nice. Okay, so. Must be contained in a cell with no other... Sorry, no other loose material. The object is an 8-inch diskette containing Soviet area nuclear launch codes. But I thought he said, Dr. Darling said it wasn't the, the same one. Oh, the one that he was demonstrating wasn't the same one. But this one is. Okay. When bound, the object allows para-utilitarians to telekinetically lift material and throw it a short distance. See Dr. Darling presentation 11.15 for more. The object is currently bound to blank for research purposes. Stolen from a Soviet military base located in blank by agents, blank and blank with the CIA, the diskette contained launch codes to blank missiles, believed to be reserved for use against blank. After being returned to America, the diskette began throwing computational hardware at members of the decoding team. An informant of the CIA tipped the bureau off and it was requisitioned by agents the next day. See, I love this kind of stuff. This is like some SCP shit. That, that's another thing I really liked about this game. His demolition expert. His ranger. What are you guys preaching about over there? You know, maybe the Hiss cult has a... Uh... Wait, am I going the wrong way? Maybe they maybe they're on to something. Maybe they're actually on to something. Who knows? But this is America, goddammit. Well, not where I am, but you know what I mean. That's a that's a that's a deadly amount of blued. Someone someone's dead. Well someone's gonna remain dead because I can't open that. Maybe, that's very true. Ooh, clearance level one. Oh. Dude, what's wrong with your fucking face? Kill it. Kill it with fire. Okay, control point. So I guess these two control points are also like, um, teleport? Yeah, because I can fast travel. 
Yeah, dead letters and the central executive. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. Actually, I think this will be a good place to leave it off. Um, yeah, I, I'm remembering why I really enjoyed this game. Um, I'm really looking. I'm really looking forward to playing more. Um, I'm definitely intrigued. I'm I'm beguiled. I'm I'm very charmed by this game. Um, it's definitely. I, I know I'm nitpicking the shit out of the out of the game. I I tend to do shit like that, but I really do. I, I really am having a good time. So, yeah. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.